Hello, everybody. How are you? How are you? How are you? I'm going to give everybody a couple minutes to come in and I'm going to share this as well. I'm going to share it. Please get your people in. Tell everybody to come on over because I am talking to my daddy on today. I'm so excited that my daddy is going to be on here. So please, everybody, I'm going to give you a couple seconds to make sure that you invite people on because this is going to be an amazing, amazing show. I have my dad on. So I'm going to take about 30 seconds and I'm going to go share because we want people to hear this um, amazing story. OK, so go share right now and then I'm going to introduce my dad um, to everybody. OK. All right, I'm going to introduce my daddy. Please go and share. I think we got two people on right now. Let's see. All right, share it with your people. Okay. All right, you're going to share. All right, and I'm going to share it to my husband, get him on. All right. So please, please, please go and share, everybody. All right. People are saying, hey, Pop Washington. <laughs> everybody sees my daddy on here. All right. Everybody go and share right now. Um, So... Everybody, y'all know this is Candid Conversations with Coach D, and I do this every, just about every other Thursday. I do this where I share um, different stories. There's different things that I do and different rate, um, different shows that I do. And so this month, if you didn't know, this month is Pancreatic Cancer Awareness Month. Um, so what happens during this month is people talk about pancreatic cancer, um, um, they talk about um, uh, the awareness and what what goes on with pancreatic cancer. And so I just wanted to have none other than my dad, who is a pancreatic cancer survivor. What better way um, to talk about pancreatic cancer than to have my dad on the show? So this is my daddy. Oh, right. <laughs> this is my daddy, James Washington. Yes. Um, do y'all think we look alike? Y'all think I look like my daddy? <laughs> A lot of people always say that I look like my dad. Um, I like my dad and my mom. What you think, Daddy? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Who yeah. do who do most people say I look like, Grandma? Me. Yes, and yes. then they say I look like Grandma Lily. Grandma Lily. That's that was right. my dad's. Right. That was my dad's mom. Yeah. So again, everybody, um, this is my dad, um, James Washington. Um, dad, tell. So let's start out. So where where are you from? Where did you grow up? Well, I grew I grew up here, right here. Uh, in uh, Fedville, North Carolina, off of Robinson Street. Robinson Street. Yes, off of I Robinson know that. Street. There, yes, right there, and then uh, migrate up on Haymount Hill. Okay. Like on Haymount Hill up there, and then uh, my daddy actually he uh, come out of uh, South Carolina, Charleston, South mm -hmm. Carolina, and then my mother's out of Bishopville, South Carolina. Right. And. Uh, they got together and they got here, and then uh, my dad migrated through the railroad. Then he got here and got started his own business. So he worked yeah. on the railroads. Yes, yes. I didn't know that he worked on the railroad. That's how he got here. Okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. And then when he got here, he started working at a mill down there. So he liked that mill. So that's where he started right there. Mm -hmm. And then he got his own business and. Uh, this is where we are at today. Yeah. Now, how many brothers and sisters do you have? Oh, it was a total of about 13 of us. Wow. Really? Yes. About 13 uh, uh, total of 13. If I break it down, I'm going to get it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so 13 yes. of y'all. Yes. Yes. I mean, that's true before I knew anything about it. Okay, so there's 13 of us, and uh, it was, I think it was six boys. Mm -hmm. So six and, boys, seven and, girls? And seven girls at the time, yes. Yeah. And which are you? 
You're not the oldest. No, I'm not the oldest, but I'm the second oldest mm -hmm. boy. Okay. So you was the second oldest. Who's the first oldest boy? The first oldest, Joseph. Joseph. Is that the yeah. one that you said that I yeah. look like Joseph? Look, it's like Joseph. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Tall and linky. Tall and linky and got the same figure, mm -hmm. features. Okay. You and him look just alike, to tell you the truth. Okay, Uncle <laughs> yeah. Joseph. I didn't get to meet Uncle yeah, Joseph, but that's okay. He's out there in New York, and uh, he passed out there. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> so you've yeah. been here basically all your life, and so you were in mm -hmm. the military. 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 Yeah, How many years were you in the military, Daddy? I stayed in the military 31 years. Okay, I thought it was like 33. No, well, 33 with the uh, convalescent leave and all like that. Okay, I don't know yeah, what that is. Yeah, but... well, convalescent leave when you... Uh, get out and then you get out with a disability. Oh, then, okay. Yeah, uh, they got all that leave time that I, mm -hmm. I didn't take while I was in there. So, oh, and so uh, you mm -hmm. get so mm -hmm. that means that they add that on. There you go. Oh, okay. You and you are a command sergeant major in the military, right? In the military, yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. A command sergeant major mm -hmm. in the military. Did yeah. you love the military? Now, y'all, so here's the awesome yeah. thing. I didn't have to when when I when I was born, I think my mom and dad had already y'all lived in Germany for a little bit. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. And I don't yeah. they live in Germany for a little bit. Yes. Travel. Yes. We bit. traveled France and then uh, Korea. She couldn't go to Korea because I was on a short tour. Right. So I remember I Korea. Yeah. Because yeah. I was born by then. Yeah. Or did you go to Korea more than once? Yeah, I went to Korea twice. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so you went yeah. before I was born too. Mm -hmm. Okay, I remember you being in Korea. And yes. one of the biggest things that I remember mm -hmm. about you being in Korea, and you share this often, is that in Korea, can you please tell us what happened? Oh, uh, about my starting off in, in God. In yes. God, with God. Yep. Yes, yes, yes. Well, you know, I raised up. Uh, in church right we had to go to church three times a day three times a day three times on sunday jeez we went to church on church school in the morning mm -hmm. and then we stayed there until one o'clock okay then after one o'clock we came back home and after that three o'clock we was back down to the church again for the seven o'clock service mm -hmm. so there's three times and then naturally yeah i it, you know how everybody does i was raised up in church but then i i was raised up in church but i won't in church okay you yeah. know and that's the way everybody it does it strays off and going and, and come mm -hmm. so i kind of stayed up as, as i'm going through the channels here uh when i got a career there i said well i said god if you allow me to finish my 30 years out in the military, I will be yours for the rest of my life. Wow. And God said, no, I'm going to get you now. Wow. So we and the fellas went out that night and then we was just out and to come back in and sure, sure at the time I was drinking, I drank a little bit. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then I came back in and then I went to bed and I looked up and I looked in the mirror and I seen the devil. Wow. I said, Are you Lord, help me. I said, Lord, help me, Jesus. She allowed me to get up to go to that discount chapel. The next morning, I'm going to be there. And he did. And I went to the discount chapel. And I never will forget that song was singing, uh, the choir was singing, uh, I'm free. Mm. No more change holding me. Wow. <laughs> I don't know the spirit got me. I was sitting up at the altar and the preacher had me up there with him and I didn't even know I was there. So from that time on until this time here, I was with God. Okay, mm -hmm. He allowed me to come in and I've been with him and I'm not going no way now. Nobody I know that's turn right. me around now. No. I know that's right. Yeah, so that's that's one of my, and then we used to go to church there. I used to go to church three times a day on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Three times a day on Sunday. To my keep boss, yourself there, yeah. your mind focused. Yeah, 
my boss is uh, Sergeant Major. I seen you go to church at nine o'clock in the morning. I said, yeah, sure. I didn't see you come back at 11 or 12. I said, I know. We went to another church. <laughs> and then I see you come back about 7, 8 at night. Where do you be all day? I said, in church. Three times. Pentecostal. Mm -hmm. That was my church. If you ever been to Pentecostal church, that's where the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. That's where you jump. That's where you get it. That's mm -hmm. oh Lord, the holiness. It's a good church. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. And then by me being the sergeant major of all the first sergeants and everybody was a preacher over there. So when I got off in the evening time, mm -hmm. they were standing at my door. Wow. They were standing at the door. Yes. Waiting on me because I was fresh, newly. Wow. I had just, just, just joined. Mm -hmm. And when that, whenever, you know, whenever you uh, drinking milk, mm -hmm. somebody's got to tend to you. When, when a new person joined the church, what did you do now? Yeah. You gather, you gather him and you stay with that person. That's right. You stay and with you them. monitor That's right, and Daddy. you keep him. So they won't stray because Satan is right out there to try to get him. Mm -hmm. And so they would be That's there a, waiting for they you. They would be right there waiting on me. And we would go through the prayers and we would go through Bible study and we would do that every night. Every night. For that whole period I was over there. Mm. That's right. And that's what kept you. And, and that's what kept me going. Because if they didn't do that, I would have slid on out of there. That's the, that, that, that's the way it is. Because right. see, whenever you're drinking milk, you ain't got that meat yet because you, you, you're young. You're young and your yeah. body can't necessarily hold, you know, even like a baby has milk. Yeah, but they don't yes. eat the meat and stuff yet because they're not ready for it yet. But eventually they get to it. There you go. And so you have there somebody you caring for you to mm -hmm. give it to you when it's time. Yeah. And then you remember, I don't know if you, you probably do remember, because whenever I was getting ready to leave out of career there, I was coming back to Fort Bragg to the 82nd. Mm -hmm. Had a letter from the journal. Did that show you how God worked? God sent you some way you're going to go. That's right. I don't care what. And I had two or three journals here I had letters from. Mm -hmm. And then the day before, I had to bought my ticket to come back here. The division commander out there, Sergeant Major, you uh, got to go to Fort Hood, get your G850, and go to, to go to the war in Saudi Arabia. I said, no, I said, sir, I've been over here a whole year without my family. I said, now you're going to do that? He said, yeah, that's what you're going to do. So I called my journal back here. When I called my journal back here, my journal was in Saudi Arabia. Oh, he was already over he, there. He was already there. So I said, okay. Yes, I gotta go. So I came here, stayed about 15 days, and went straight on there, straight on over to uh Fort Hood. When I got there to Fort Hood, then they said they're gonna keep me back there for a real sergeant major. I said, No, you ain't. I said, You brought me here to go to that wall, and that's where I'm going. And that's what I did. Hmm. Will you make it? I said, don't make a difference for me. I don't been in two or three of these conflicts. It don't bother me. And so I went on out. And then we come on back and I stayed in Fort Hood six years. You was in Fort Hood for six years? Yeah, that's what I was trying to get back here to you because you was getting you were doing your running and all that stuff. Now, wait a minute. So you yeah. you were there and you would come back sometimes? Yeah, you remember when I used to come back on the yeah. weekend? I didn't know you were there in Fort Hood, like for, yeah. geez. Wow. Yeah, it time flew. It did. Yeah, yeah because uh -huh. I hadn't intended to stay in those six years. See? Mm -hmm. But then again, what, what happened there? And I'm going to tell you another thing. What happened there? Staying at six years. Let me show you how God works. God, when, when, when God got something for you, you're going to go his route. Because if right. you don't go his route, then you go on your route. That's and, right. And then it's too late. It's too late. Okay. Got to go his so, route. So you you go on that route. So when, instead of me coming back for a brag, he got me away. See, sometimes God take you away from your family to get you right. That's right. And did. that's what he did to me. Mm -hmm. He took me away to get myself together here because, see, with my family, I had everything here and then I ain't going to do right, you know, half the time. So he says, OK, he says, I'm going to mm -hmm. get you straight. And then he took me on that. And then when I left Korea, 
went to Fort Hood, went to Fort Hood, went to Saudi Arabia, stayed over there for about eight months in there, and then I came back to Fort Hood. And that's when I stayed in Fort Hood the rest of the time in tour. And at that time, what happened there? I fast mm -hmm. and I prayed and I fast and I prayed. I had a chapel in there. Him and I do it every night, every day. We fast and pray, fast and pray to get back here to Fort Bragg because I was getting ready to retire that time. But what happened that I had to go, I had soldiers out there in the desert, NTC. So I went to NTC for that, almost that whole month out there. And what happened, the command sergeant major from uh, 18 Airborne Corps, which is here at Fort Bragg, mm -hmm. and the command sergeant major three corps, those are the two top sergeant majors, went to play golf, and then one of them said, well, I want Washington down here, back here at Bragg. And he said, well, I want so-and-so back to Fort Hood. He says, okay. He said, what you do there? When you get back there, tell them to go in. They were looking for me for three weeks. I'm out there in the desert, NTC, to, to get ready to come on back to Bragg. When I come back here, when I got back then, the sergeant major called me. I said, what have I done now? So I went up there. <laughs> and when I got up there, then the sergeant major said, Man, where have you been? I said, I said, I've been out there with my soldiers in the at NTC. Where, where mm -hmm. else? You know, and then he said, well, you ready to go home? I said, man, stop, stop playing with me. Stop playing. Don't play with me. He said, you ready to go home? Let's go. So that show you how God how works. God works. Mm -hmm. We prayed and we fast fasted and we prayed and we fast. And when you do pray and when yeah. you fast yeah. and you're yeah. not wearing it and you just give it over to him, then it happens unexpectedly. It happened unexpected. And you didn't even. Really, I'll tell you the truth. I kind of halfway weren't ready to go come come back. I'm I'm serious because I have so much fun with the soldiers out there right. and, uh, at NTC. Mm -hmm. And then I met a uh, when I, I when I got there, I met a uh, went around to the different churches to try to get into a church that I wanted to get into. And then I got into one of these churches here that didn't didn't speak Jesus' name or God's name. So I said, No, I can't handle that one. And then the guy come up and said, Well. Uh, so I imagine what you're going to do, you're going to pay this amount of money there and, and uh, your buddy right there, whenever you want to uh, talk to me, then you tell him and then he'll meet you. I said, oh, I can't handle that. Mm -mm. So I went around to a little hole in this church. I think it was about 20, what even 20 people in there. Old ladies and, you know, what mix. And, it, and I opened the door and peeped in there and she said, come on in, son. Come on in. Come on in. So I said, okay, yes, ma'am. We got in there. We had church school. And we had testimony. And we had church. When the pastor came in there at 11 o'clock, all we had to do was do a benediction. <laughs> That's all we had to do because we were shouting and jumping. I said, Lord, I said, God, this is the church I need to be here right here. Mm -hmm. And then when I got ready to leave, what happened? <laughs> I said, well, I'll see you all next Sunday. She said, no, son, where you going? I said, no. I said, man, I'm going back to, to, the, to the bus there, and then I'm going to get some food. And she said, no, you don't got your spiritual food now. Now we're going to feed you. Uh-oh, they fed you. I said, oh, Lord, look at here. I said, I know I'm here now. <laughs> and that old home cooked food was collard greens, ham hop. Oh, Lord, good Lord of mercy. In Korea, you know, no, oh no, this was in, in Fort, Fort Hood. Hood. Okay, this was in Fort, in Fort Hood. Hood. And then after that, then what they did, they sent me home with bags. With bags of what? A food. That's mm. right. They packed my stuff there, and ever since I stayed at that church until I got ready to leave Fort Hood. Fort Hood. That's right. And so that was That's what right. just kept you and just gave you confidence. Yes. And it's just amazing, like you said, yes. how God will take you away to get you right so that when you come back home for your family that you'll be together That's and right. you can be the example. And another thing, all the while I was gone, I read my Bible every day, mm -hmm. every night. I used to read two or three scriptures, two, mm -hmm. or three, two or three books. Every night, I got the Bible right downstairs right now. Got it marked through all the way to full hood, everything. And so what God does he prepare you. That's what he does. Mm -hmm. He prepare you 
So when you get back, it's me being a command sergeant major. When I got back to Fort Bragg, I had the biggest brigade in the, in the, in, in the world, really. Mm -hmm. Because for the simple reason, my brigade, it supported three corps. Mm. That's right. Wow. First, second, third corps. Mm -hmm. And that's and that's what it and so to do all that, every time troops come in, I had to get up and brief them. Mm. And when I got up and brief them, then I preached to them. Yes. That's right. I preached to them. Because that is your congregation. That, that's that thank you. And that was part of my that was part of my job. So I thank God for that. I, I, I thank him for that. But I was trying to take the shortcut to try to get it before. But God said, you weren't ready. Let me take you around and then bring you back in. Mm -hmm. And now I think you're ready. So now let's go. And sometimes that's what he has to do. So yeah. um, those of you that are just joining, this is my dad, James Washington. We're talking about um, yeah. We haven't gotten to the big part yet, but we're getting ready to get there right now. But we're talking about him growing up here in Fayetteville, North Carolina, and talking about him being in the military 31 plus years mm -hmm. and his experience in the military. And what's so better thing that even though this is pancreatic cancer awareness month, this is also November is military family month, too. Mm -hmm. So it's so befitting. Um but I want to go into um talking about pancreatic cancer and because that's why we're here. So um how many years has it been now, Daddy? It's going on 12, 13 years. 12, 13 years. I was yes. wrong. It's going mm -hmm. on 12, 13 years. So mm -hmm. um, my dad is a 12, 13 year. I got it. I had it wrong. Um, 12, 13 year um, can pancreatic cancer survivor. Whoop, whoop for that. Yes, Amen. Yes. We give God Thank all the Jesus. glory and all, all the praise. Glory. Yes, the God. Praise. Yes, we do. Um, yes. And so I just wanted him to share his testimony of pancreatic cancer and being a survivor. Um, so can you tell, can you start from the beginning? Because I want people to hear, you know, it wasn't that um, you got terminally ill and something happened, but it was the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. Can you explain to everybody how yes. this yes. transpired? Yes. Uh, actually, it started. I was, uh, I was retired out of military at that time and I was uh uh coaching over the e East Smith. Mm -hmm. We was coaching the junior varsity and the varsity and all over the East Smith. Mm -hmm. And then uh I used to get up early morning because we had early during it's around June, June mm -hmm. time. So we got up early and then we did practice early in the morning and then uh you come back and then you go back at three o'clock. Mm -hmm. And then so okay that we went along with that. So my sister had mentioned, she said, you know, your brother in law he got a uh, pancreatic cancer. I said, oh, so I'm sorry to hear that. Mm -hmm. And I just let that fly by. You know, I, it, it, it just, just, just flew, just went right over my head, you know. I said, well, no, I'm running five miles a day and then I'm good to go. I'm healthy. So I know it ain't, I, I'm okay. So you're running five, yes. five miles at 60 some years old. Yes, yes. Six or seven years old. Mm -hmm. That's right. I was running five miles and then go out there on that field with those guys. Cause I had to get up early and run before, before I go to the field. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, so I kept on going back and forth to practice. And uh, one night I was just sitting there watching TV, but the next morning, I don't know what happened. The next morning around five o'clock, something told me, said, you get up and go to see the doctor. Mm. I mean, woke me up. I woke up in the bed and it says, go see the doctor. And I said, oh, I ain't going to see the doctor. I'm going to be down. See, that's the reason why you have to pay attention to the spirit. Yep. You got to have a relationship with God. You got to have a relationship with that's God. Right. Because, see, when he tells you something, you better listen. That's, that's right. And you better listen for it. See? So, what happened there? I said, no, I got my PT stuff on there and I'll get ready. I said, no, I'm going to run my five miles. And then some says, go. I said, okay. So I told Gwen, I said, Look, I said I'm going to the doctor. She said, for what? I said, well, uh, I'm just going out there. Got there and then the doctor, I knew when I was in the military, he was still there. Mm -hmm. So doctor, he told me, and he says, well, 
And he said, Sergeant Major, why are you? I said, well, no. I said, because he was a spiritual doctor. Mm -hmm. He was very spiritual. Me and him used to sit and talk about the Lord, you know, mm -hmm. when I go in and see him mm -hmm. stuff. And then all of a sudden, then he says, uh, well, you know, uh, the uh, pancreatic cancer, I mean, pancreatic is not on the list for a check. And he said, it costs too much to, to have it checked. She said, but if I want to, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to write on here that you got a pain there, so and so. And so, and so I said, okay. He said, go down in and I took an x-ray and then I did a CAT scan. Mm -hmm. Went in there and then I come back. And he says, okay, I, I'll call you tomorrow and let you know what it is. So he called me the next morning, same time. He says, Sergeant Major. I says, oh, Lord, what's that happening now? He said, yeah, it looks like you got a cyst on your pancreas. I say, a oh, what? That woke me up. Mm -hmm. A cyst on your pancreas. I said, okay. All right. He said, come on out there and we blow it up and see what it is. So I did again. And then he took it in there, did another scan after that. Then he says, call me the next morning. He says, Sergeant Major. I says, oh, my God. He said, you got to come out here because, see, I think what it is there. He said, I got some good news, and then I got some bad news. I said, what, what, what? I said what, which one you want first? I said, don't, just give it to me. He says, the good news, bad news, you got a mess. I said, mess what? On your pancreas. Mm -hmm. He said, but the good news is start on the tail, mm -hmm. which the council pancreatic usually starts in the center, mm. center mass. Mm -hmm. But in this case, my style is on the tail. Mm -hmm. I said, oh, Lord. I said, well, I said, thank you, Jesus, for that. So we went out there, and then when we got out there, he already showed you how God worked. He already had the doctor looked at it and had me set up and, and had me and Gwen. Gwen, wait a minute. Your mother went with me and we sit out there and he said, this is what we're going to do. We're going to cut the tail off here and then we're going to give you chemo and then you're going to be good to go. I said, oh, OK. So what happened that night when I came back home, he called me again. He says, Sergeant Major, he says, these are Fort Bragg doctors. I said, but what I want to do, do. They do more that at Duke than they do here. Mm, I said, Duke well, mm -hmm. whichever way, Doc. He said, well, we we uh, uh, we go to Duke. He said, but what you have to do, you have to tell him that you don't want him to do it. Tell him you want Duke to do it. You know, I said, okay, I'll do that. So I went out there and I told him what happened there when I told him. He said, well, I'm prepared to do because he had the sketches set up there, had everything show, everything. I said, I understand, Doc. I said, I, I know that you are a professional. I know that. But I, I think I should prefer to go to the Duke there. And so he says, wait a minute. He said, well, tell you what, since you want to go to Duke, I have a friend up there in Chapel Hill mm -hmm. that does have been doing pancreatic cancer surgery for 29 years. Wow. Dr. Kim. Mm -hmm. And I looked at him and I looked at Gwen and she says, he said, now you have, he said, if you want to, I said, yeah, give me the thing. He said, he said, matter of fact, when you, as soon as you leave, I'm going to call him and tell him you're going to be there tomorrow. He said, now you can go to Duke if you want to go to Duke. And if you go to Duke, you might get a uh, surgery in Two months or three I months. I remember that. I remember that. You mm -hmm. remember that, right? I remember that. There you mm -hmm. go. It might be two months yep. or three months before you get in there. And then with the pancreatic cancer, you don't have six months after you find out you got it. Three and a half or four. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. So it's very aggressive. It's very aggressive. Very, it is. Very mm -hmm. aggressive. So I said, okay. So we went to uh, Chapel Hill, got up there, and Lord, thank you, Jesus. I thank you right now. Yes, Lord. Uh, when we got there, Dr. Kim was standing up waiting on us with the sketch up there on the wall. Yes, God. I said, Lord, if this ain't you, this is God. This is God here. Because generally, it don't to, work that fast. It don't work that fast. It mm -hmm. works three to four months before you but be able to. You listen to God tell spirit, you to do it when He told you to do it. Everything lined up. Everything lined up. Mm -hmm. Once you get out of line now. You're in trouble. Once you get out of yeah, line, yeah, the yeah. resources and yeah. the provisions are not there. It's not there. But when you are in line, the resources and provisions are 
there. All there. That's right. And so we sit in there. Look, he says, well, now I tell you right now, he said, I could. Uh, matter of fact, he says, I can do it for you. But if I know you got one going to do because my friend told me you, if you want to go to do, you can go to do. And Gwen says, no, <laughs> we're going to you. He said, well, if you're going to me, you got to be ready here because I'm doing surgery Thursday. I said, oh, my God. Wow. Look at God. Look at God work. I says, all right. So we turned around there. We had that thing set up and then we went in there and did the surgery and came out. And then I came home and then I did uh, 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 not chemo, but uh, Radi radiation. radiation. Mm -hmm. I remember. Yeah. yeah I know you do. Because mama had yeah, to cook yeah. for you. you there you go. Several meals. There you go. I had radiation and mm -hmm. then we did that. So that tell me right there. And, and from that time on, but I'm going to tell you one thing before, before uh, uh, all this happened here. After I found out I got diagnosed, I came back. No one knows because all y'all, you and your mom was up to sleep. And I came down and I played my uh, Christian music. And when was this? This was? Yeah, when I got diagnosed. Okay. Before, we, before I went to surgery. Mm -hmm. And I got down on my face mm -hmm. to God. And I told him, I said, Lord, save me if it's your will. Let your will be done. Save me because I think I'm too young. But you know, you knew before I was conceived in my mother's womb. You That's made right. me. Mm -hmm. So you know me. Okay. So I prayed and, and I talked. Went in the surgery. I ain't told the nurses then. I went in there smiling. She said, Well, sir, why are you smiling? I said, I'm. I'm wrong. She said, why? I said, because I don't talk to God about you all. She said, son, I wish everybody come in here like you did and say this here, because I know you as a Christian man. I said, yeah, that's right. I said, now, if you're all through, put that thing over my face and let's go and get it over with. <laughs> <laughs> and then after that, mm -hmm. after that when, when I came out, I, she came around there and she said, see, I said, I told you. I talked to God with y'all. I say that's what you want. God have y'all here. That's really why you all are here. Now you are here to put us in the right direction. But God healed me. That's right. Okay. I said, God healed me, but y'all kind of banished me up, fixed me up. But God healed me. And that's why you all are here. So that is one of the the the, the things, and, and I can tell anybody. I, I don't care. Whenever you 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 get a bad news or anything, you put your focus on God. Yes, sir. Put your focus on God. I know it's hard because I don't been through it. I know yes, it's hard. It's hard. You can come to the doctor tell you this and that, and this and that, and then I say, yeah, okay, all right. Then I go in my little cubby hole That's right. and I talk to God. I talk to my my God, what I call my God. I say, I don't know about your God, but my God. Personal. Personal. Got a, a, a personal, personal. That's my God. We got a, a communication together. And that's what God wants from all of us. Yes, sir. He God, God's a jealous God. He's, he's very jealous and he wants us to talk to him Every day he wants to he, he, he wants to just worship him because when you get to heaven, that's all you're gonna do. That's right. Just like you hallelujah. hallelujah. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. I'm a worship, yes, I'm a worship, I'm a worship. And see, and that's what we're trying to get because see, God gave his one and only son to come down here. I mean, a man with no sin and died for all of us, and he buried that sin. On the cross, he buried that. There, he was buried up there on that cross there, and see all that sin. And then a lot of people don't know. Whenever he had hollered out and says, "God, why have you forsaken me?" You know the reason why he said that. Hmm. You know the reason why God forsaken him, because God don't like sin. That's right. And he had done buried all our sin hmm. up there on that cross. 
at that time. And that was one of the reasons right there. Yes, sir. But then again, he rose on the third day for our justification. Yes, sir. He rose on the third day for, 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 for us that we may be free and try to make it in and try to get, do what is right and live by his commandments. And like I said, with pancreatic cancer, that is one you might not think that you have it. And, and I Lord know the hope that you don't have it, uh, uh, no one that you know have it, because that is a uh, fly by night. It happens quick. It happened quick. Mm -hmm. Half the times when you know you got it, it's too it's late. Too late. And I remember them saying That's that, right. like, yes. oh my gosh, like yes. you're you're here, like the place where yours was, um, yes. is yes. is in a place where only one percent of people usually live. And That's they were right. able to take all of it out. They took it out. He went, took took that part out, and then came in and radiation that. And from this day on here, and you know what I told everybody? When I did a testimony in the St. Luke Church down there, I told them, I said, no. I said, tell you what, this is not coming back. Mm. Something else might come, but this won't come back. That's because right. when God does something, God is complete. That's right. Okay. When he does something, he does, he is complete. He mm -hmm. does. He don't do nothing half. That's right. He's complete. So be what I'm saying, worship God. Keep your eyes focused on God. So when something do happen, God will hear you and he will lay it out for you. Okay? Lay it like, out. He'll he 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 through a straight path for you. Okay. See, God, God, God's got his ways now. Everybody uh might get diagnosed with anything. But then again, my sickness, you might not can't handle mine. That's good. You understand? Mm -hmm. And I might not can't handle yours. Handle mine. And you might just get a little scratch on your hand. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I might get my head half cut off. Right. But see, God knows who and who and what. And then God knows how to get your attention, too. Mm. Oh, yes. He knows how to get your attention whenever you stray off a little bit or not even straying off a little bit. You're not doing what uh, you fall asleep. Mm -hmm. OK, I like that. Okay. You fall asleep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. OK, you, you, you fall asleep. I get that. You got mm -hmm. that right. Mm -hmm. OK. All right. Mm -hmm. You fall asleep. And that's why he woke, he wakes you up. He wakes you up. He got to wake you up. You got to wake you up because mm -hmm. you ain't doing what you're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. Here you is in the church here 20 years and you still ain't got no further than you was when Come you got on, there. Come on, talk about it. Huh? That we've been in church for 20 years and some of us ain't got no further than when we first came in. That's when you right, first Eddie. came in. Okay. And what are we doing? Not there doing you anything. You're not, right. Not doing anything. Not affecting anybody. Not affecting anyone. See, because I said, and and, and every time I do a testimony. Yes, sir. I, I, I make it that that person, whoever had never heard me and some of them already heard me. And they will come to me and say, you know, Father Veggie, you, you got my attention. Mm -hmm. And that's what God wants. God wants you to go out and tell the people what he done for you. That's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't do that, then you're not helping him at all. You, you know, see, God jealous, you know, he is going to save your life. And you're not going to tell nobody. And you're not going to tell nobody what he done for you. You know? No, 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 no. I, I, I stand up half of the night. And I, really, if I start off from the beginning there, we'll be here tomorrow night. Sometime, <laughs> well, we're right going to have to do a part two. <laughs> we're going to do a part two. See, see, <laughs> we'll be here tomorrow night sometime and probably before then because I, I have been through something. No one knows your story. Yes, e sir. Everybody's got a story. Yes, sir. Yes, Everybody's sir. got a story. And no one knows your story but you and God. Yes, sir. And I have been through some stuff, okay? In Germany, I had psychosis of the lungs. Mm. The doctor told me that I would never take two steps because I had to be in a wheelchair. And I told that doctor, I said, you must be crazy. No. Mm -mm. 
And I am 31, 32, 33 years later on. I'm out there running five miles a day. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yes, sir. So that tells you, don't let nobody tell you that. When a doctor tell you something, and we talked about this. Yes, sir. That ain't the last word. That's right. It's not. God has got the last word. Okay? Yes, sir. Right now, I'm going through some stuff now, but that's okay. Yes, sir. It, it's going to be all right. Because I don't talk to my God. I, what, the reason why I'm saying my God, because that's, that's right, my God. That's my communication. Personal. That's right. That's personal. Okay. I know your God, you and yeah. your, your God is your God, which is all the same God. But it's personal but to you. But it's person to me. Yes. And see, and that that's what I'm saying. See, you you focus on God because He is the one. He is the one that 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 made us. He know what we can take. He knows the whole work. He knows what's going to happen way before you even thought about it, before you was conceived in your mother's womb. Okay? He know every one of us. You see? So, so, be like uh, Peter. When Peter walked the water. When he took his ass off the water, what did he do? <laughs> huh? Mm -hmm. He stopped dripping. Okay? Yes, sir. So, whenever... And, and I know, I know it's hard because I'm going through it. Yes, sir. Yeah, but it's gonna be all right. Now, I ask God for what I what, 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 what I want Him to do, and and I'm, I'm just leave it there. But I'm gonna thank Him. You thank Him for what He's already done, because it's, if He's already done and it's God's will, it's already done. That's right. All you have to do is wait on it and manifest. You got me? Yes, sir. That's all you You're have right. to do. Just, just wait on it and let it manifest. And whichever way that he decided that he was going to go, it's going to be all right. It's going to be okay. It's going to right. right. be all right. It's going to be all right because, see, it, 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 then you used to worry about nowhere. What, what can you do? You can't do nothing. You can't do nothing. But what? God, so. And then what I ask God, you always ask God. To give you peace. If you can get that peace, that, that that's the main thing. That love and that peace. That's right. If you can get that peace, you're good to go. Because, like I said, sure, I'm going through stuff, but it's okay. It's all right. But see, that's what Satan always after the Joker, always after you. He's trying to make you. Curse your job, yep. uh, like 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 uh, like job. Mm -hmm. Try to make you get off off yeah, task. Yeah. yeah, and see, but no, that's why I say you got to keep your eyes focused on God. Keep your eyes on. If you keep your eyes on Him, it'll be all right. It, it'll be all right. But that that's that's my story with this pancreatic cancer, mm -hmm. and and I, I tell you right now, this day to this to this day, you know. I knew that he wasn't going to take me at that time because when I got off my face that night down there in, uh, when we were living in Earl Lake West, when I got up, I had one of the biggest grins on my face I ever. I was so much with peace and everything. I knew right then. I said, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. And all I'm doing now is doing the same thing. Doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. And That's I remember like, we came to the house um mm -hmm. the night before that we left. And I think Britt was like maybe yeah, one or two. Yeah, and you yeah. remember he climbed up in your lap and just hugged all on you. And of course he don't know what's going on. He, he don't know. He, he didn't know. He no. didn't know at all. Mm -mm. But he, he climbed didn't. up and just he hugged up on hug, you and just wanted hug. to sit with you. I know it. I know it. And then I would hurt. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> but uh but yeah, that was uh that was uh Matter of fact, you about that size right there. Yeah, right there. it was. Yeah, mm -hmm. but uh, that's that's my story with the pancreatic cancer. And then, I, like I said, and I'm going to tell you this day, you know, I showed you on my phone that we, the, we went. Did the pancreatic uh, walk. The and, walk. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and since then, and I'll tell you, uh, anybody out there, I give twice a year mm -hmm. to the pancreatic cancer. Twice okay. a year, and and uh, matter of fact, I got a nerd in there now. I'm gonna have to give, 
Oh. And whoever whoever uh, would like to give, give because see what they're doing, they're doing the research and they're drawing this thing down narrow and narrow and narrow. Matter of fact, pancreatic cancer patients living longer than they used to mm. when I was diagnosed. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I, I get bullets in on it there. It, they, they, they live a little longer now than it used to because the research that they're doing. They're, they're they, doing. Yeah. And they find it. And that's because of the donations going in. Mm-hmm. You see. Because you I see. think I was mm-hmm. reading that pancreatic cancer is one of the yeah. cancers that they don't do a lot of research on. But it's the most aggressive. It's, it's most one aggressive. of the most aggressive. Yes. Cancers. Most aggressive. And then uh, I give to the St. Jude. Mm-hmm. To I give to those two. If I don't give nothing else, I give to pancreatic cancer and St. Jude. Because when you go up to the hospital and you see them little kids them there, kids. that hurts. That hurts. And, and and the more that you know, you can do the research. The more research you do that, that that would help them. You know, you know, kids had and begun to live yet, and then they all up to stuff all on them. You know, it's it's, it's really tough. Mm-hmm. It's really tough. But uh, the pancreatic cancer, it opened my eyes wide open. Mm-hmm. And like I said, you can be sitting around the house, always do a check. I mean, regardless, they're saying no check now, but now they got it. I guess now they got it where they can do a scan now. Mm-hmm. As long as you got insurance and stuff like that, you can do that. So I would, you know, you, you, you have a time like they say, well, did you hurt? And that, that was a, the key with me. I didn't hurt at all. I didn't hurt nothing because what happened? I got it early. You got it early. Because of listen to the spirit. That's right. That's exactly right. Listen to God. Wow. That's that's right. If you if hadn't you listened, if I hadn't listened, I wouldn't have been here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because I would have went on about my business. Sometimes yeah. we don't even have to go through the pain if we would just listen and yeah. catch it, catch it early. Catch it early. Sometimes you, you, you know, a lot of times we be doing so much stuff. We just we we just got stuff going here, going there, going, 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 we going. We don't take time to sit and listen. But then again, sometimes you have to sit. That's why uh, Gwen, right now, a lot of times you see me, I come up here mm-hmm. and I sit and be quiet, and you have to listen. Because see, God talked to us all kind of ways. Spirit talked to us all kind of ways mm-hmm. in your dream. That's he, right. He, 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 yes, yes, in your he dreams. Did. Uh he talks to you uh this this uh this driving down the road. Yes. Okay. But you 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 have to listen. And that's what we don't do a lot. And we like to talk too much. Yeah. That's exactly what it is. That's exactly what it is. And I'll tell you one thing, I'm very proud of you. I, I I'll tell you that because. You you pastoring and you you you're always doing something that that is progressive. I mean you 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 you're always doing stuff and that and that's great. And and you you're running your household and your family got a job. You do, I mean you, and then you ran the track. Oh, I was so I'm so uh, you know, I got my tapes over there right now. I got to look at them. <laughs> yeah, just, you used just, to record yeah. all of them. Yeah, record them right there. I, I just got to get them on the disc there, but uh, I don't know. That's, that'll come. I, I'll get with that. But anyway, like I said, uh, I, I was, I'm, I'm, I'm glad to do this here, you know, for the Packer. Because, because I wanted people to hear your story. Yeah, people yes. don't hear enough mm-hmm. about stories about mm-hmm. survivors and um yeah. Just yeah. so many different things. And I know we're going to have a part two because my daddy got some good, good <laughs> stories. I know you got military stories. Yes. yes, um, yes you just yes. got stories about life. Things, life you general. know, I mean, mm-hmm. um, you got stories about being in the streets. Yes. Um, yes, I, and yes I don't sir. I don't even know if I was born, but I mean, you right. got stories about being shot before and having one of those bags on the side. Yes. yes you know, yes, you yes, have yes, stories sir. about. Um, uh, stories about you used to smoke, and I told you that's right. You stopped me from smoking. Wow, because you came home that day, and I'm sitting there on the couch smoking a cigarette. You say, Daddy, she said, Why do you smoke that? that that's gonna kill you, you know. And I said, Yeah, baby, I know it. This and that. My teacher says that it ain't good for you, and from that time on, 
I took that cigarette. I didn't. I, I finished that cigarette though. Mm -hmm. Then, but I took my cigarette. I was smoking uh, Newports. Newports. I remember. And put it on the mantelpiece. I put that pack on the mantelpiece. And your mama kept saying, "There, you don't went to work. I know you don't smoke." So I said, "No, it's fine." And I kept that on that mantelpiece up there. So when I did want a cigarette and didn't get it, then I know I got it. And quit cold. Because you know the reason why? Hmm. I asked God. I asked God. Matter of fact, I asked God when I was drinking. I asked God, cut it off for me. That's right. And he cut both that and the cigarettes cold. And people talk about they got to go to rehab and this and that. You got to go to rehab. All I got to do, your rehab is right there. Wow. And God. Come on. That's, That's it. your rehab. That's it. Mm. That's that it. is your rehab. That's that your, rehab, your right rehab right there. All right right here. here. That's it. Right here. And you ask God wow. to do it. That's mm. all. And when you do that and mean it, mm. that's it. Wow. That's it. And to this day, I can't stand the smell of cigarette and can't stand the smell of liquor. That's right. Mm -hmm. right. Today. He'll change your appetite. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Today. He will change your appetite. Mm -hmm. You won't want to smell it. You mm -hmm. won't want to look at it. You That's nothing. Right. That's right. Wow. And and I mean, I thought and back in my younger days, I used to drink a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was, hey, good Lord. <laughs> <laughs> but, but now, no, uh -uh. Mm -hmm. you know, but all I'm focused now is trying to trying to do what this, the Lord says. You know, I want to. I want to please him. Yes, sir. That's that. That's what I want to do now, and that's the reason why I, in my church I, I stayed in the church when I retired. I stayed in the church in which you know your mom was fussing one time, twenty four seven down there all day and all night mm -hmm. trying to get that thing straight. And then just really after this thing here happened here, I just quit on that down to twenty two years. Mm -hmm. 22 years down at that church down there. Yes, yeah. right. But then again, I say, Lord, if you allow me to get out of here and, and, and one piece said, I'm going to be here for you. And that's what I did down mm -hmm. at that church down there. Back and forth, back and forth, which I should let other people do some of the stuff. But I took upon myself trying to do a lot of it. See, sometimes you can't do it. But I know I'm taking up all oh, your no, time. Oh, no, no, you here, good, so, Daddy. Yeah. And this is so we you have see? people are saying yeah. stuff. Oh, yeah. gosh, they are enjoying this. Yes. There, We have mm -hmm. Monica and Mr. Frank are watching. Oh, okay. Um, they Thank say, you. hey, Mr. Frank was smiling. Yeah. Um, the kids, yeah. our kids, Kiki is watching. Ooh, okay. yeah. Um, yeah. Britt and Lily watching. Um, let's see. Rosalind is watching. Pastor Ebony. Yeah. Um, Angel is watching. Ooh. Mr. Homer. Ooh. Um, I didn't so know that. They're all saying Miss Cassandra um, yeah. um, is watching. She says she's praying for you. Yes, um, thank you. Thank you. Chris's mm -hmm. sister, um, Pastor Kim, said you're a strong man of God. Yes. Um, they're saying all the glory belongs to God. Yes. Stay in focus and that yes. it's in your mind. Yes. What you're saying. So they are listening to everything that you are saying that you got to sit still and listen. There you go. Yes. Be still. That's right. Be still. That's right. Be wow. still and listen. Mm. That's right. If you do that, you know, I mean, you know, and, and, and that's another thing. We have to make our assessment of ourselves daily. That's right. Assessments daily. You ain't said nothing but the right that's thing. That's right. Assessment <laughs> of ourselves daily. Because sometimes we be going so much this and that that we, 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 we do things. And then the first thing is uh, quick to listen. Mm. And so to speak. Yes, God. Thank you, Lord. You, you understand that? Yes, God. That, that, that is written. Oh, that's the text. Yeah, that, yes, it's about. Yeah, yeah. That's in the word. Yeah, yeah. And and see, one thing, uh uh if I can get this right here, because uh yeah, Isaiah 53 and 5. Yes, sir. It says, uh it is for my iniquity, it's for my transition. And Jesus Christ was wounded for our healing. Mm -hmm. If you go to the 53 and 5, mm -hmm. I just didn't, uh, I'm just uh, paraphrasing mm -hmm. that. No, you're right. Mm -hmm. I'm paraphrasing, but I'm not, I didn't get the whole thing in there. But mm -hmm. it, it says, and that's whenever I go with the scriptures, 
about my sickness or any sickness, you you go to the scriptures. Mm. God, what God does, God mm -hmm. uh, don't break a promise. That's right. It says, it says, it says Isaiah 53 and 5, it says, yeah. but he was pierced for our transgressions. There you go. He was crushed for our iniquity. Iniquity. There you go. Go ahead and yep. look further down now. The punishment that was brought that brought us peace was mm -hmm. on him, mm -hmm. and by his wounds we are healed. healed. Thank you, Jesus. That's, That's right. right. That's right. You can take that to the bank. Yep, that's right. That's right. So, 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 and that because see, God sent his one and only son. One and only son. That's how that's how much he loved us. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah. Because I know he loved his son, but he sent his son down here to take all our sin, even the sin before him, the sin before the uh, the prophets and all, and took it up on that cross. That's right, and buried it up there. That's what he did. Yes, he did. And then the blood ran down when he pierced him. The blood ran down. But the water, when it came down, that was for the prophets before. Mm -hmm. Before his time. That's right. Yes, sir. See, a lot of times there, when you get to reading that Bible, and I know you y'all studied a lot. I know that. You got to read them little notes. Mm -hmm. Them little notes there, and they'll tell you all yes, that right. stuff where that water come from the prophets, from the days, just like he says, that whenever uh uh he comes back mm -hmm. he don't keep he, when he first came he came to save us yes sir that's what he did he didn't come to kill us he came he come to save us the second time he come he's gonna come for us mm. but then again when he comes back here what's gonna happen all the christians that went before us is gonna rise up in the cloud mm -hmm. and then the ones the christians here that's living, it's going to come second. That's the way that works right there. Yes, sir. It, it's written. It's, it's, it's in the Bible. It is. <laughs> it's, it's in the Bible. It's written. Mm. You see? So so those are type things, you know. I, I I can sit here all night and go with Oh, we're going to have a part two. Listen, yeah. if y'all want a part two with my daddy, I need y'all to put part two, part two, part <laughs> two in here. Part two, we're going to have to have my dad. We're going to do a Zoom and have my dad preach force of life for everybody one Sunday. We're going to set the Zoom up right here. You're going to get your Bible. Yeah. And yeah, you're going to okay. do Bible study and you're going you gonna to preach for us. Okay. All right. Well, we, 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 we'll we see. Just, you like doing Bible that. school, daddy. You yeah, do your, I know that. I know listen, that. I, I call that. my daddy do and he's doing ministry. his yeah. son, Sunday lesson. He done did yeah. jail ministry. Yeah, he do yeah, his I Sunday do. lesson. You call yeah. our daddy, what you doing? I'm doing my Bible lesson. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's, I mean, it gives me a state of peace. That's right. That's, that's peace. That's mm -hmm. you doing what God wants you to do. As long as you're doing what God wants you to do, you you be all right. Just follow His command. That's right. It's his command. Part two, part two. Somebody <laughs> said part two, three, and four. <laughs> come on, come on. <laughs> I, I better cut this off. Let me get off here now. <laughs> well, we are getting ready to get off, but I yeah, do want to okay. share this real quick. Yeah. Um, I wanted to share. It says pancreatic cancer is one of the most deadly of all types of cancer. Yeah. Um. It says um, that this year, 44,000 Americans will be diagnosed with pancreatic cancer and about 38,000 will die from it. Mm -hmm. So and it says, despite the high morality mortality rate, the federal government spends woefully little money on pancreatic cancer research. That's right. So that's one of the reasons why you give, because they don't spend a lot of money on pancreatic cancer. And it's one of the most deadliest. That's right. And, and 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 a lot of people don't give. Too, That's right. You, you see, but just what you just said, you, you say 44,000. 44,000 will be diagnosed with now, it. Now, 38,000 will die. That's a lot. Good Lord. You see the difference there? Yeah. That's that's that's, that's that's a lot that will die from that. Yes, out of 44. Wow. Mm. And then something else that I want to so I just want to let everybody know I am blessed yes. out of that 44. Yes, you are. That's right. Yes, very, God. very blessed. And we thank God for that. And we give God yeah. all the praise and I glory. Give all for the that. glory and the praise. Yes. 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 So, one of the things that I want to share, um, yeah. one of the things that I want to share is anybody that's out there, if you're um here are some signs 
um, about pancreatic cancer. If you have abdominal or you have mid back pain, back pain. Okay. Oh, yeah. Um, loss of appetite, mm -hmm. jaundice, jaundice is if you get that yellow looking color, yeah. um, weight loss, weight loss, um, nausea, mm -hmm. um, a change in your stool. Your stool looks different dark, and dark, yep, dark stools, mm -hmm. recent onset of diabetes. Mm -hmm. So those are some things, um, that actually are um, symptoms of pancreatic cancer. And some of the risk factors they say are family history, diet, obesity, that's right, that's rate, right. race, pancreatitis, diabetes, age, gender, and smoking. Yeah. So mm -hmm. all of these things are symptoms. alcohol too now. Alcohol, yes, sir. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. sir. And so um yeah. do you have anything yeah. else you want to say, Daddy? Well, that's I mean that's uh, I just want to thank God for the for the time that he had brought me up to this point this day. Yes. Because see, God is good to us. See, we take God, sometimes we take for granted. Yes, we do. Of all the things, you know, that we walk through the day and then we get up and then we say, well, no, so and so. But even if you hurt him, that's a good day. Because you're alive. Because you're alive. Yes, sir. He allowed you to see that sun one more that's day. That's exactly right. A lot of people didn't see that sun. That's right. A lot of people didn't wake up this morning. Yes, you sir. know, that's, that's why I used to tell all of my uh, all, all the guys in the jail there, you know, mm -hmm. yeah, I said, now you are in here, but you are blessed because you are in here. If you was out there, you might be dead. Somebody might have done shot you out there. See, mm -hmm. so you have to. And, and one of them say, you're right, because when I come in here, they was trying to kill me. And I said, see, that's that's the point. So now. You are in here. What it is, you are in here. This is the beginning. It's not the end because right. you're in jail. Mm -hmm. It's the beginning because God is trying to give you a beginning, another chance. Mm -hmm. that's, Somebody that's said, it. Monica said, dead men can't feel nothing. Thank you. That's right. Can't she feel is right. That's right. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah, you know, that's what I said. Don't take anything for granted because we take things for granted now. But yes, don't do. take for granted because you... You know, because you're hurting here, there, because that's part of life. Mm -hmm. Every day we get older. Every day you're going to get up, you're going to feel a different pain. Mm -hmm. That's 40. <laughs> oh, I don't, I'm, you know, I'm 40 now and I feel, I, yeah, my body yeah. is feeling different. You, you see, but, 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 uh, that, that's part of life. Mm -hmm. And, and then, uh, life takes you, uh, so, so many ways. Yes, sir. You, you just have to, you just, just have to keep your eyes focused on God. Keep your eyes focused on God. And so I have a question for you, Daddy. Before yeah. we before mm -hmm. we get off of here, do you mm -hmm. mind closing us out in prayer and praying for mm -hmm. the people, praying for anybody that's watching, praying for the people and just, you know, the things that you talked about? Can you pray for us before we go off here? Yes. Yes. Amen. OK. All right. Uh, every, everyone. Eternal and all wise God. Yes, sir. We come to you right now, Father, Heavenly Father, for this day. Father God, we thank you for waking us up this morning, oh God. Father God, we thank you for watching over us over these years, Father God, that you allow us to be here, Father God. Father God, you could have taken us a long time ago, but Father God, you seen something in us, oh God. Yes, Lord. Father God, we thank you right now, Father God, for each and every one that's on the line here today, yes, Father Lord. God. Father, we ask you to bless them, Father God. Bless Thank their you, home, Jesus. oh yes, God, God, Father God. Father God, make sure, oh God, Father God, that you keep you, you keep us under the blood. Yes, God. Keep us under the blood, oh God, Father God. Yes, Lord. That the virus, Father God, that will not touch, oh God. Yes, God. Thank you know, you, Jesus. oh God, you know your Jesus. children, oh God. Yes, Lord. Father God, we thank you right now, Father, mm. for for for. For the thing that you have done here to change this, this, this communication and stuff around here, yes, oh God. Lord. Father God, the command this system around, oh God. Yes. Father God, we know right now, Father God, that all the times, Father God, for the last four years that we was under, we was under stress. Thank you, oh Jesus. God. But Father God, we ask you right now, Father God, go with each and every family, Father God. Thank Bless you, each Jesus. and every family, yes, oh Lord. God, Father God. And Father God, we thank you. For everything that you yes, have done. God, and Father God, Jesus. we ask thank right you, now, Jesus. Father God, thank you, for all the sickness, Father. Bless yes, each and God. every one. Heal each and every one, yes, oh God, that on the sound of my voice, Father yes, God, if Lord. your will. Yes, Father Lord. God. 
Father God, you know, Father God, you made us, oh God, you know. Yes, Father Lord. God, Father God, we ask this right now in Jesus' name. Jesus' name, name. yes. Jesus' God. name, Thank Father you, God. Lord. Jesus, Thank you, Jesus. Name, we pray. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Name, Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We give you honor. We give you glory. We praise you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. We give you all the honor and glory, Thank God. You, we praise your name, Lord God, for Thank everything you, that you said on tonight, you, Lord God. Thank you for all of the Thank seeds you, and all of the wisdom, Lord yes. God, that you have spilled out here on tonight, that you have imparted on tonight. Thank you, Thank you right now, Lord Thank God, God, for the wisdom that was given through this vessel right Thank here, God. You, we Thank you, Lord God, that you, Lord God, appointed this time such Thank as this right now, God, Thank that you, healing would happen, Lord God, yes. that transformation and people's minds, Lord God, what happened. And so we thank you right now in the name of Jesus, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for blessing this vessel, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for blessing his life, Lord God, all the wisdom and all the strength, Lord God, all the love, the joy and the peace, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, that you will bless him and you would anoint him from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet, Lord God. We thank you right now, Lord God, that you would go inside of his body, Lord God, and that you would take your flashlight, Lord yes, God, yes, and that you would yes, go about yes. as you see fit, Lord God, and that you would heal as you say heal, Lord God, that everything is in your will, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God. You made this body perfect in your image. And so we thank you, Lord God, for you know everything, yes. Lord God, because yes. you created him yes. before the foundations of this earth, as he yes. has already said, Lord God. So we thank you right now that the life that he lives, Lord God, Lord, we thank you, Lord God, that he will continually, Lord God, praise your name, give you glory, that he will give you honor, Lord God, that he would praise your name, Lord God, that that's where his strength comes from. That's where his healing comes from. That's where it, his joy and his peace comes from. Yes, we thank, thank you right you. now in the name right of Jesus, Jesus, Lord God, that you give him comfort, that you give him resilience, yes. that you give him strength, Lord God. Yes. Lord God, we thank you, Lord God, that you would continually, Lord God, watch over this yes. house, Lord God, yes, that you will watch over him, that you will watch over my mother, Lord God, yes, that you would God. continually you. strengthen her, Lord God, go in her mind, yes, Lord God, God, and strengthen her, strengthen yes. her heart, Lord God, strengthen thank her body, you. Lord God, gird thank her loins, Lord God, yes. Lord God, give her hope and promise, Lord yes, God, Father and we God. thank you right now, Lord God, that what the enemy thought he would kill, what the enemy thought he would divide, what the enemy thought he would destroy has even been even stronger, Lord God. And we thank you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. And we cancel and we send back to hell every dart, Lord God, that tries to come upon this house, that every dart that tries to come upon my father and my mother, Lord God, we thank you right now, Lord God, that you would cover this house, that this house is flowing with oil, Lord God, that the oil, Lord God, the anointing oil will be all over this house, Lord thank God, you, in the name of in Jesus, name Lord of God. Jesus. We thank you, Lord God, that drips from this house, Lord yes. God, and that it is covered in your grace yes. and your mercy. And we yes, thank Jesus. you for his life that is a living vessel, yes, Lord God, God, that he is thank a disciple Jesus. of Christ for you yes. to yes. give the testimony, Lord God, of his thank life you, and how you've blessed thank his you. life and that how his thank life God. is not his own, but thank it is you, yours, yours, Lord. Yes, Father. And so we thank, thank you, Lord God, for this time. Yes. We thank you for the words that you said here on the night, thank Lord you, God. Jesus. We thank, thank you for the wisdom. We thank you for the testimony that somebody's heart and life is changed from this and that somebody will take this, Lord God, and they will run with it and that they would have hope and peace. Yes, And so we thank you, God, in Jesus, Jesus name. name. We thank, thank you, Lord God. Thank we are in Jesus. agreement and we thank everybody for watching yes. on tonight. This is my yes. daddy. Yes, I got one other thing to say yes, before, sir. We, Go ahead, before we close out here. I know I'd be remiss if I didn't mention my wife. If it weren't for her, none of this could have happened. Yes. My wife, she took me to Chapel Hill. She cooked for me. She did everything. Everything. She's a loving, beautiful wife. Yes. And I love her to death for that. Yes. And not only, I just thank God for sending her to me. Yes. Yes, because that's part of this whole system. That's part right. Part of it right there. And oh God, I thank you right now yes, God, for this opportunity you. this day. Yes, In Lord. Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Y'all, yeah. this is my daddy. 
And if y'all can see, we look alike. <laughs> this is my daddy. <laughs> um, I love my daddy. Yes, I'm a daddy's yes. girl. Yes. And yes. I think when he was when he was with pancreatic cancer, when he be feeling bad, he be trying to make sure that me and my mama okay. Yes. Yes. That's, that's, that's what his concern is. Yes. And so um, we gonna do a part two because we want to hear the other stuff about how you and mama met. Yeah. And you know the military, and you know the how God brought you from being in the streets and oh, different yes. things. Oh God! Yeah. You know we yeah. are going. We going definitely. We going. We going to do this again. Mm -hmm. Um. Everybody said they want a part two, three, and four, Daddy. Well, uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll yes. See. Well, because you blessed us on tonight. Okay. I appreciate. You it. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All so, of you. Thank if you. you haven't heard anything else, you know that you need to stay focused on God. And yeah. so I just want to say that I thank my daddy. Right. I thank right. my daddy for being on my show tonight. This is Candid Conversations yeah. um, with Coach D. And we do this on Thursdays, not every Thursday, but um, hopefully I will be back next Thursday because I want to do a military show. Um, but share this live that so somebody's life can be blessed from this. And so somebody understands that it is a ch you will survive. We are survivors. And so we thank you for joining us on tonight. And as I always say, Coach D always says, it's more than just a workout. It is your life. I love y'all and good night. Good night.